and my hapu, which is um, my tribe, where I come from, um, in Whakatane, all, all the mothers, grandmothers, um, feed their children, or their babies, um, by breastfeeding. And we grew up to, um, to, to recognise that, and, and we were portrayed to do that to our own children. It was, uh, oh, I don't, I don't know how to put it. Um, it may be expected of us, but I know now that um, since they introduced the bottle, most Maori, young Maori women would rather take that easy option where they don't have um, any knowledge of the um, the nourishment that that the baby gets from the, the breast milk. What the, the baby really needs is the breast. There's a lot of loving and and um, caring for um, both the the mother and the baby. I, I was actually told that by one of my midwives that it's best if I was to feed my baby on the bottle and formula instead of breastfeeding because it'll be an easier option for me it's less stressful uh, you can go out and do whatever you like and and it didn't give me the 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 well-being of my child I, I felt like I was um, only to give birth to my child put him on a bottle and let him fend for himself that's how it felt as she was explaining formula was best for him blah blah and um, uh, shots after shots and and I, I totally disagreed with her and told her myself that I was brought up on a marae and all my grandmothers and all the people and and my hapu uh, fed their babies on on the tit and she was quite disgusted at me I was Oh, well, I was disgusted at her for being disgusted at me because she obviously didn't know um, my back, uh, my cultural background, and it was something she was taught from um, an educator that it'll be best for me to feed my child on on a bottle instead of breast milk, and oh, no, I totally disagree with that. Deirdre Jackson's um, health centre in Mangere. Um, held the uh, mothers' um, meetings during the, the mornings and um, helped us, uh, educated us actually, on what uh, our our bodies um, do to help our our children. Um, not not only um, physical but spiritual, and it's it's a more loving and more loving and more contact than feeding from a from a bottle that just follows um, uh, your your traditional ways and, and the, it's the physical and the spiritual balance together it actually um, makes me feel like a whole person because I'm eating correctly for my child I'm um, looking after myself as a, a, a woman um, it, it, it gives me strength to um, give my whole heart and soul to my child it gives me <clears throat> a pleasure to have him and and be with him and and to have him suckle of me is 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 the greatest pleasure that I know of and um, yeah and that balances it balances me out as a person. I put in more in my body and then he takes out what he needs from me and, and that's how I feel that that's what he's doing. We're helping each other. It's the greatest, um, greatest experience I've had in my life and I wanted to experience something like that. He's looking past all my faults and he's looking like he's looking into my heart and my soul and that that um, releases all the um, stress or anger or whatever I'm feeling at the time out. He actually 
looks at me with love and and that's and that's awesome it's it's awesome i'm i'm totally blown away from it it, it, it draws me closer to him us as grandchildren we are given to our grandparents and they actually bring us up as their own children and our parents go out and they have their own lives and when we go out and have start our own lives and start having our own babies that's what we must reflect on our our, our children our own children as as the, the the bond the bond of our people it, it's it's deteriorating and um, I know that for sure it, it is I've been in the in, in the graphs of it and I've also myself experienced it for myself I totally lost who who I was as a person um, and I had no my spirit had gone and um, I was just another worldly person which was really sad I couldn't um, uh, it, it actually it made me feel like I wasn't a, a mouldy woman it, but I, I actually felt like I was uh, I, I turned into a European woman over, over a couple of years and, and coming from the country to the suburbs just did that to me you know it just changed my whole way of life but no, hey, what can we do? My spirit was actually dragging me back to my grandparents where they were buried. And I sat there and um, I actually went back and sat there at their grave sites and, um, and had a, a, a long, tearful, heartful talk to them about what was happening to me in my life and how it was destroying me and um, I just had an uh, overwhelming feeling come over me and I just picked myself up um, went to the homestead where I was brought up and a feeling, uh, an, a feeling of, it, it was cold, it, it was, it was quite scary, it was like, um, if I was to close my eyes, I'd have shadows um, around me, and it, it, it was, I felt like I was, uh, I felt like I was dead, you know, I, I had lost everything that I had, I had known. My Māori, my Māori tanga, my the kōrero, the fluent speaking of Māori, you know, it was being dragged out of me, and I totally forgot who I was as a person. And um, going back home and being in in my um, in my hapu. And amongst my people, back on my marae, with my family, gave me the strength to bring my spirit back. And and today it's it's still healing. I'm I'm healing as a person through my children. And and it's yeah, great. I'm uh, I love my life and I expect to be here for my children's children too and teach them and show them what I learnt and, um, and what's right and wrong in, in life. Yeah. And without my children I, I, I think I would have been dead by now if I didn't have my children, if I didn't have my Māori tanga, if I, if I didn't, didn't have my spirit come back to me. I. I would have been as nothing as the dark. Yeah. Dark. That's all I got to say about that. That's <laughs> <laughs>
Just where 